Hey guys, welcome to a new video of that special guest video. Um, I'm here with my pastor, or youth pastor, yeah. Matt Ananias. What's up guys? Good to be here again with you all. Uh, and we're excited to share, um, answer two questions that I, I believe um, everyone has either asked before or is thinking about. So I'm excited. What are the two questions we're going over today? Do all animals go to heaven or and are other god are there other gods? Are there other gods? So um so some of these questions either came from um some of you guys or questions that are general, right? So but these are questions that you know I didn't come up with them. These are very common questions that either you sent or that <laughs> I'm not gonna mess it up anymore. Or that uh, <laughs> flash um came came up with himself so first one do all animals go to heaven so really quickly um we believe that the bible is our source of truth right so um everything that there is to know about beginning of times creation where life came from where god came from this is one of our videos from the past actually right so if you didn't check that out go make sure you watch it yeah there um i have a new playlist on my channel now um called new life special guest video parts it's in it's in my channel so there's there's a playlist button right on if you have an iphone or if you have an android right on youtube there's a playlist right right smack on the top there you go so we we went over that um and Bottom line, we all have these source of truth, all of us, right? When it comes to past, when it comes to beginning of the world, when it comes to life itself, God himself, uh, we all, and life after death, we are all banking on something, okay? It's all a matter of faith, because sometimes people say, oh, I don't believe in anything. I'm an, I'm an atheist. I'm an agnostic, or, you know, I, I don't believe. Yeah, you do. You were not there in the beginning. I was not there in the beginning. Yeah. So anything that we're not certain of, it's a matter of faith. So whenever we say like, oh, I don't believe we came from God. That's a matter of faith. You weren't there. I wasn't there. No one was there to say, right? It's a matter of faith. When we say like, oh, there's no life after death. This is all that there is. You're making a faith statement. But how, how come from the time of the caveman? Yep. There, there wasn't any technology then. Right. Right. Because cavemen didn't have technology. They only had their their sticks or their bows, and and then they just banged on the walls yeah. of the cave because they they didn't have shelter. Yeah. So, what what are cavemen like from before? Yeah. And even though know, you know all the way back then, they still already had a sense that there is someone out there. There's someone else rather than just what we're seeing here. And that there is life after this. This is why, for example, when someone dies in our family, it hurts so much. Because there's a part of us that's like, it shouldn't be like this. This shouldn't happen. We, should, we all have, and again, the Bible makes a lot of sense because it answers all of those questions. So the Bible says that God, when he created us, he placed eternity in our hearts. This is why when someone dies, or even to this question, when an animal dies, there's a part of us that's like, man, that's wrong. That shouldn't happen. Yeah. You know, people should not die. Life should not come to an end, right? So there is that in all of us. Um, so the Bible, since being our source of truth, um, does not say anything about animals going to heaven. Okay, It does say that um, humans... Have an eternal part of us right we will live forever either with god or apart from god we will live forever we, well, we close our eyes here we open our eyes in eternity um when it comes to animals it does not say so we don't believe that animals will go to heaven that's yeah. so but with christians we'll always be with god yes absolutely because yeah. even though that our church is presbyterian mm -hmm. you tell us we are part of god yeah. God has God written our stories. Yeah. He he is right there looking towards our future. Um he's he knows 
what are we gonna do in life? Yeah. He he know he even knows that that we're doing this video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he knows that that every detail of our of our life coming from this channel, coming from Matt, coming from this church, yeah, coming from Spark or Ignite. Yeah. Um, it's it's everything. What are things that I like? He made everything. Yeah. So like, Mother Nature was here even before him. Right. What we're talking about, like right now, for example, right? Uh, the fact that you're watching this video, he knew that. He designed it. Like he write, he wrote your story one day, and he said there will be a day where this guy, this girl, will be watching yeah. someone talk about me, and then something's gonna start, you know, stir up inside of you to get to know this God who created you and loves you, right? Um. So, second question. What's our second question for today? Uh are there other gods? Are there other gods? So, um, the, the short answer is no, right? There is one God. That's one Jesus. God. Yeah, that's it. And he revealed himself as Jesus, right? He came. But this is why, for example, um, when he walked on water, when he told one of his dead, his friends who died, he said, come out of that grave. After four days of being dead, he came out. Right when he there's someone who couldn't walk and he just placed his hand over them and he said, "Get up and walk." Person started to walk. Who can do that but God? Right? God Himself was here, and it's interesting because we're preparing for Christmas, right? Yeah. The day that He came and became a human being like one of us, right? Uh, so are there other gods? No, there's one God, one God, and His name is Jesus, right? Uh, and it's awesome to know that because. Sometimes we have this impression that God is like far from us, that he's this like white bearded guy up in the skies who is ready to throw lightning bolts at us when we mess up. That's not what he showed in Christmas. That's not when he that's not what he showed when he came and became a human being and he took our sins, right? It was the very opposite. He didn't throw lightning bolts at us. He, he actually said I'll take it myself so that they could be one with me, so that they could be forgiven, so that you and I could actually have access to him, right? So he took our sins. He took our wrongdoings. He took our mistakes. He took everything that we've ever done wrong upon himself uh, so that we could be free. And well, he wants a relationship with us. So uh, then why are there so many you know, ideas about other gods? I think you and I can make gods um, out of anything. Hear this out though. Yeah. We have so many universes that God chose us to put in us in one. Mm -hmm. In one universe, one planet. Yeah. One land. Yeah. One state. Yeah. And that we are so connected to Him through this church, mm -hmm. even though that we are Brazilians. Yeah. Making our making our way to to being baptized or making our way towards the stage yeah. to be on announcements yeah. or be on behind the scenes of the worship team on lights yeah. um, even though that we constant we consistently need help on those mm -hmm. God is there for us no always. matter what always always yeah so and that's that's what we wanted that's the message that we wanted to get across to you and that one God, one true God, is not angry at you. He's not mad at you. He actually, he's a loving father who just, he can't wait for you to return home and be with him, right? For you to understand the message of Christmas. We're getting close to Christmas, so understand that. We only have, six, came. We only have 16 days until Christmas. There you go. So think about that, you know. What am I celebrating? The whole world, think about this. The whole world stops because of this one man who was born. He must be more than just a man. It was God himself. What is the definition of Christmas, though? You tell me, you tell me, do you know? It's God's birthday. Yeah, that's it, that's it. The birth of Christ. We're celebrating Christmas, right? The beginning of Christ, the coming of Christ. Well, and he came for you and for me. If you see it, the name Christmas, mm -hmm. if you split Chris, mm -hmm. must, mm -hmm. and put Christ in, in that sentence, yeah. what do you have? You have the beginning of Christ, the coming of Christ, the birth of Christ. That's how it's. That's how it's, it is. Yeah. Christmas. Yeah. There's just that hidden detail in, 
in that word. Yeah. And that's what we're celebrating every single year. In a couple weeks, we're going to be celebrating that. Yes. Right? So think about that. How, where do you stand with this Christ? Where do you stand with your creator? Where do you stand with the one true God? Have you received his love? Have you started a relationship with this loving, amazing Jesus um, who decided to be born one day as a human being um, so that he could die for your sins, so, so that he can build a bridge again between you and him? Yes, this morning, I, I had a crazy morning. So mm. I got on the bus, I went to school. Um, as soon as, as the bell rang, for me to go to class. Yeah. Um, I I almost had an instant connection with God. That oh. He noticed me right in that hallway. Oh, dude, that's awesome. So, I was speaking to my teachers. Yeah. Uh, um, we were talking about like my work and ha how, because I have two jobs. Mm -hmm. One is right next to each other. Yeah. So I work at a fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. Or I'm. Sometimes I'm, I'm working at, at a trampoline park, mm -hmm. right right there. God is with me forever. It's always, dude, it's always. And, and sometimes my teacher keeps asking me, hey, um, what, what, um, what, is, what do you do for the weekends? Mm -hmm. So I, I keep saying, oh, I, I'm on like work stuff. I keep working, but I, I get a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So. The, the cost, of, there's a cost of living out there from the government yeah. that God knows of. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Even though that God knows the, the amount that we're, that we're getting taxes from, mm -hmm. the government has, a, has its way of power. Yeah, and the, the cool thing about that is that God will either provide for us, will even provide for us, right, to be able to pay taxes and be able to live be able to have our food and be able to have our shelter yes. um, which is awesome he's a god of like daily um, relationship if we if we didn't build build this this church if we didn't build our houses mm -hmm. we would be starving yeah didn't have friends didn't yeah. have transportation yeah no roads yeah. we would we would, be, we, would, we would just be homo sapiens again yeah and and but god had other plans and he had us in mind and that's awesome so that's our invitation to you I hope that answers your questions. And I hope that blesses you. Um, and if it did, let us know in the comment. We would love yeah. to get connected with you but, um, and pray for you. But before before we sign off the video, we have some announcements that we have to make. Oh, what are the announcements? What's going on? So, these couple of weeks, our, our youth is having a Christmas party here at the church. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are. So, next Friday, actually. And everyone's invited. You're invited to that. You don't have to be part of the church to come. Not at all. Um, and we're doing we're doing like a Yankee swap where we bring a gift and then we switch with someone. Yes. Um, so and we're gonna have Brazilian food, very good Brazilian food. So join us. Uh, you will be. It will be so cool to get to meet you here um, yeah, the, in person. The destination is gonna be posted in, in the in the description below. Yeah. Um, number two is. Um, I'm not going to be doing announcement parts for, for, for these couple of weeks mm -hmm. because my, my bus, my bus route is short. Mm -hmm. um, and I have no idea how to make the announcement parts there. Okay. Because either I would have, I have to disguise my background. Mm -hmm. So I would use TikTok as my disguise of background so I, so they wouldn't see where I, um, my location is mm -hmm. but for New Year's there's one question for the New Year's mm. what are you people doing for 2022 yeah yeah let us know let us know as a comment down below here yeah what you're doing and we would love to talk about it yeah let us know and then next week we'll we can talk we can talk about our, our re resolutions for for, for the year. year yeah sounds good and we'll see each other soon see you in the next can, episode can we pray for, before we yeah we can let's do it we didn't pray in the beginning so we'll pray now all right so wherever you are right now too close your eyes bow your head just so we can focus and receive this prayer as a blessing to your life Father, thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you for my brother, Lord, who's here with me and everyone that is watching as well. 
Um, we ask that your blessing will be upon each of us and that this Christmas you be born in our hearts and that you would be born in our homes and that we would have a new relationship with you. For those that already do have that, Lord, I ask that uh, we would fall more in love with you. Thank you, Lord, that you came. Thank you that you made a way where there was no way. Thank you that um, you were born, our hope came. You didn't leave us hopeless. You didn't, you didn't leave us helpless. Now we have, Lord, as my brother Flash said, said here, Lord, we have a God who is always with us at all times, in all circumstances. Thank you that you care about all the little details of our lives as well. Pray, Lord, that this person watching this with us right now, that they would get a sense of your presence, of your life, of your love. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. This video is going to ending soon, so you have any other announcements before we sign off? No, just thankful. Thankful for this time, and God bless you. I'll see you next time. Thanksgiving already passed, so you have, we're always thankful for yeah, this always. channel. Yeah, always. Yeah, yeah. All right, see you guys.